Hi, everyone. Ronnie Rowe back again this week for another uh, session with Ronnie Rowe Designs, my designs, and uh, what I've been doing this past week or two weeks because I'm really late on my video this week. It's been a very, very busy two weeks for me. And so, uh, but anyway, here we are and got some things to show you this week. Uh, some uh, comments I got, some letters I've gotten this week, and uh, things I'm working on in general. So, um, um, hope each and every one of you had a wonderful, wonderful two weeks. Stayed. Hope you all of you got through this cold spell we've been in. I think somewhere I read up in uh, Vermont or somewhere in some mountain, it was a minus, a chill factor was a minus 100. I know, I know. I don't know why anybody want to live somewhere like that, but I guess they do. Um, I know my good friend Julie lives lives out in uh, near uh, Denver, Colorado, and uh, I know that she's uh, had a lot of snow this year. And so, um, <laughs> God bless her. I hope she keeps every bit of it too. So, uh, we've had been we've been cold here, but uh, it's supposed to get up into the uh, high sixties, near seventy at the end of the week. So that's that's pretty good. So, anyway. What we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, what I have been doing this past week is getting ready for Woodlawn, uh, their annual needlework show they have up at Woodlawn Plantation. Um, I got my pictures together. And so uh, this past Friday, and right now it is uh, Sunday night. Um, right now, what time is it? It's about 7.45, almost 8 o'clock Sunday night. But this past Friday, the wife and I got up real early. We were going to Woodlawn. So uh, we made the truck trek up to uh, Fredericksburg up uh, 64.95 and uh, dropped some stuff off by my sister-in-law's house and went on to Woodlawn and gave them a couple pictures, sent, uh, put a couple pictures in for them. And I got to meet some really nice folks there and uh, they were really gracious. And so there's uh, a lot of people were showing up with they have pictures, they're uh, uh, cross-stitched, their needlework, and uh, God, you ought to see it. It is gorgeous. I mean, some of these people, I mean, they're really good. I mean, really good. Now, not all of these people design their own work. They go by patterns, um, but the quality of needlework and the framing and what they do is exquisite. I mean, I you, you and I, you're not going to go anywhere and see anything like that. When you go to Nashville, you see some really good stuff, but not, not, not with some of the stuff you see there at Woodlawn. That is really good. Um, so I'm very fortunate to be in it because I'm not a very good stitcher. I'm not a very good framer, and I compare with some of these people. But I do do some design work. So we did stop by there, then went by a needlework shop in uh, uh, Alexander, Virginia, and picked up some uh, pictures that I had up there with Ellen at, at her shop, and uh, talked to those folks a while, got to visit some, then heading on up through D.C. to visit my son, my daughter-in-law, and my grandkids. Um, stayed with them for, I don't know, 5, 30, 6 o'clock Friday evening, and made a way on back home and I got home about 9 30 10 o'clock Friday night long, long long day safe trip though very safe if you've ever gone to DC in 95 the beltway around 95 395 495 all it's conject all up there safest roads in the whole country I mean there's not a highway in the country as safe as those highways that highway and the reason why is because no one really gets killed going one mile an hour I mean, that's what they do. I mean, that's what you do up there. You go one mile an hour. So, but anyway, did that. Now, what I want to show you this week, uh, let me get my piece of paper here uh, so I'll know what I'm doing. Um, I've got two pictures I want to show you that uh, that uh, was were they were up at a shop in Alexander I picked up. And one of them, and these are, these have been around for a little while. First one I'm going to show you, and these are all framed up. Uh, is uh, the wagon one. It's a fall foldage wagon I did. This, these are big designs. And so this is fall foldage wagon. That is done on 18 count uh, material. Uh, I know 
you know, say something about the light and the glare, and I understand that. But this is a huge, huge picture with a lot of rocks. And the rocks at the bottom you see, and we're going to talk about it a little bit with the new design I'm doing, because I really like the way the, the stones and the rocks came out on this particular design. But that was Wagon. That's one of them I picked up. And um, I have that out on my SD site. That's been there for some time right now. And uh, the other one I picked up was one that I called Abandoned. And this one here, Abandoned by the Sea. And what this, what this was, this lobster house, these houses you see on this are something that I took. I took three or four pictures of various houses and uh, put all this together with some boats in there, and I just called it abandoned. And I thought that thought that turned out really well. I really I like the colors in this. And so, uh, but uh, and again, I framed all of these in the metal frame with a uh, double mat board. So anyway, this is abandoned, and these are two two of the pictures that were hanging in the shop up in Alexander. So anyway, got those got those back, and so I'm happy about that. They uh. uh they, I did take a couple more up to them uh, that they will be using. The ones in Woodlawn Plantation, I've got up there now for the new show. One of them is Morning Light, and that's going to be featured at Woodlawn. And uh, Ellen, they, the shop's going to pick that up for me and display it in the shop till you know, how long they want to use it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, colors. Oh, what I'm stitching right now. I haven't done any more work on the flight I got going on this morning light and I just couldn't put it down. And so I've been working on that for uh, the last two weeks, really trying to get some more work done on that. In the meantime, what's happening, I got a call. I got five new designs out right now. They're not out. I say they're out. They haven't been released yet, but I've had them all printed up and um, I've been working really hard getting the covers done getting everything set up for those and i made a a lot lots of copies of that that i've got to send out this week to hoffman distributing company uh rod and his folks are going to be at nashville in one of the suites and so i'm going to send him all of my uh, new designs a bunch of that where the uh, buyers at nashville can go around and take a look at uh see what's new by uh not just myself, but other designers doing the same thing. They they have a pretty big display there of new works, and so uh, I've got I've been really hustling trying to get all that together so I can get everything to Rod at Hoffman, so they can uh, display those in Nashville. And so I've been working on that uh, a lot in the last week. Um, what else is going on? Blue Haven, been stitching Blue Haven. If you remember. The blue skies across the top. I was going to do a mountain. I want to show a little bit of fog and everything. Well, where I am on Blue Haven right now is, you can see, I got this. It's mounted right now. On this. It's just got a piece of material. I took it out of the hoop. But um, this is going to be Blue Haven. And um, you see the little bit of fog on the mountain there and the house in the background and the pier. This pier is going to be going out to the house and back here. You mentioned the rocks over there in the wagon I just got through showing you. I'm going to have some rocks in here with the tide coming in. And so all of this will tie together. I really enjoyed working on this part right here, this little pier, because it's going to really give this picture some perspective going backwards. And uh, and it's going to show some depth in the, this picture, I hope. so. And I'm... Um, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. I've got a long ways to go, but I'm going to keep you informed of how I'm doing with this. And so, uh, um, but that's what I'm stitching on right now. So hopefully when I talk to you again, I'll have a little bit more done in here because I work from left to right. And then I finished all the top part going from left to right and then started here. And then I got another left to right going on the bottom here. So, but this, this chart is already done. This is one of them that I'm sending to uh, Rod at Hoffman to go to the uh, Needlework Market Show in Nashville. That's in March. So, uh, but anyway, I'm stitching this and uh, really, really enjoying that right now. Uh, the five new designs that I have out right now that I've sent out 
Uh, obviously, one is morning light. Morning light is one we have been featuring here for a number of weeks. Uh, I've shown you that. That's all finished and everything. Uh, Blue Haven, which is I just showed you. The other one is butterfly. I have finished butterfly. That is the one. Uh, it's not really a butterfly. It's a swimming picture. It's a person, a guy doing the butterfly coming at you and uh this is a really cool design i came up with i think i think you're gonna i think people are gonna like it if they're into swimming like that kind of stuff it's um only has nine colors in it and uh, it's really easy to do and um uh, i'm gonna mount that i'm sure with those nine colors being blue a lot of blues in it it's going to be um uh put in a metal frame like i've done a lot of my work the other picture I've done is um, sports. I've taken some sports figures, some sporting figures, and put it all together and made a collage, if you will, of this. And I've rotated a lot, I've changed colors, I've airbrushed out of a lot of stuff. And so I'm just calling it sports. And that has nine colors in it also. And you will see those in the coming weeks. Right now, I'm not going to put those out until... Uh, rod and folks get to see them in nashville and so those are four of them the fifth one is one i have been working on for a long time it's called fractured and fractured is a picture of a violin on a table that i have taken and if you take a piece of glass if you will and hammer and you shatter the glass it's fractured something I put an effect on this, um, actually fractured the picture and everything, where you can still make out the violin and the surroundings on it, but it's really a, it's really kind of a, a neat looking picture. It's similar to something I did called a lock. If you remember the one I did, the lock. This is just a straight violin, but I I, I took the liberty of doing some effects on this and. Uh, I tweeted this a whole lot. I've been working on it. So I finally got that out. And so that's going to be one of the five uh, designs that they're going to see in Nashville. And um, you're going to be seeing all of this um, in the coming weeks. But um, anyway, I did been working on those um, a lot in the last um, two weeks, at, um, more than two weeks with Fractured and also with the sports. Butterfly was butterfly was kind of easy. That it wasn't hard to do. I mean, that was that was because I'm I'm having a guy come at you with doing the butterfly, a lot of water dripping from his arms and him, his head coming out of the water. So kind of, kind of cool, kind of neat. I enjoyed it because I, as I, you probably already know, if you watch my videos, I do a lot of swimming at the Y, so I don't do a butterfly. But anyway, I, I do do some swimming. I wish I could do a butterfly. <laughs> I'm lucky I don't, lucky I don't drown. But anyway, that's, um, uh what i've got coming out in the uh near future i'm working on another one right now <clears throat> that i've given some thought to and i'm just trying to figure out how i'm going to do it i'm 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 laying out something that's going to be entirely different than anything i've ever uh, subject matter that i've ever done i've got i'm trying to uh, do something with the theater a theater or a play or in that realm of that area or something uh, uh if you went to see see a play a broadway play or something represents everything on broadway or something i'm trying to do something that way but uh, anyway that's that's in the works that's an idea i've come up with it kind of interests me I, it's a challenge anyway so i'm i'm looking at that uh, another thing happened to me this week. I got an email from a lady in England. It wants me to do a picture of a rugby player and uh, kicking a rugby ball. And uh, so um, I've been back and forth with her and uh, talk, talking to her about that and how we want to lay it out. And um, what she's going to get when I do one of these for an individual, they get a they get a complete package, just like if you went into the shop and bought one yourself of that subject that you send me. So, but anyway, I'll share that with you if, when that comes that comes about. That shouldn't be in too too long because I have started working on that. Um, I, I haven't put any color in it yet, but I'm gonna start coloring it and move, changing some stuff in it. So we'll work on that as we go along. 
um not much more not much more that's enough going on so um the rest of the week i just plan on uh going to the wide do some swimming uh going out to eat um it's good to see my son and my family this uh friday evening i'm tired when we got back but um other than that not much more is happening in the cross stitch world uh if i think of anything else i'll write it down and we'll talk about it um next week when I do another video, hopefully. So um, until then, I want you to do one thing for me that I always tell you to do when I leave you is stay safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.